Here I'm showing a simple 256 by 256 sample image. And what we will do now is look at how we can apply various types of Gaussian uh, kernels to it. Let's start off with the most simplest one. Now here I'm using the sigma of one, a pointed uh, kernel, round, uh, and as you go away from the center, zero, zero, it gets closer to the zero values. The resulting image here is blurred, but not extremely blurred. It's got a little bit of defocusing going on. But as I increase the variance to sigma three, you can start noticing more blurring. Similarly, as I move to sigma six, even more blurring is visible. And finally, moving all the way up here, we can basically sigma nine, and it's the most blurred image there is of the sequence here. And that's an important part for us to remember that basically now by changing the sigma, which is basically the variance, we've basically increased the extent of the smoothing from one point across the whole image. And again, the kernel here was different sizes, and we can play around with, of course, the neighborhood size of the kernel too. So this basically now shows us that we can use Gaussian filters for smoothing. It's something we will actually play around with a lot in the rest of the lecture as we start getting into things like uh, kernel filters and stuff like that.